Imagine what it's like to rush head first into a burning building. The smoky haze makes it near impossible for firefighters to see where the fire started or if there are people in the building. That's a problem Professor Myung wants to solve. And today, he and his students will test a drone they hope will do just that. We met many firemen and they suggested me to develop such kind of drones that can fly freely, also can go to the confined space and can find the people in danger or find the fire source. Before this drone is ready for a real fire, it needs to prove itself. Today, first technology is the fireproof technology for the drone. So we can endure 1,000 degrees Celsius, more than one minute. They start the day by blasting it with heat. We will first apply the flames to the drone, and it can endure up to 1,000 degrees Celsius for one minute. The drone itself is covered with the fiber, so it is very resistant to the fire. The drone survives the inferno. Its protected coat remains unscathed. Next, Myung wants to know, can it map its location and send a signal to the user? The second technology is the autonomous, so it can map the environment. Within 10 minutes, they have to survey all the area. The drone can localize itself and fly autonomously through the space, and it can explore the people or the fire source at the same time. When there is a burning object, it can recognize there is a fire. All the calculations are done inside of this PC, and it sends information to the user, so the user can know its position and location of the burning object. Two for two, but can it climb a wall? And the third one is the wall climbing technology. So drone can pass through this narrow space by climbing the wall. We will fly the drone and it can attach to the wall and it can pass through the narrow space. After two attempts, the drone still can't quite do it. It still needs some perfecting, but my young's pretty motivated and get it right. So this is a very small project, but it can be enlarged. So we are going to have some more intensive experiment in the real situation. <laughs> <laughs> 